today we're going to talk about the Trahard 90 Dark Star, designed by Martin Francis and built in uh, Chante Trahard and Antibes in 1982. Here are some shots that were taken quite a few years ago in the Caribs in 2010 and the owner has spent Mediterranean summers and winters in the Caribs with the yacht and he has found her to be a fantastic family cruising yacht and she's also been doing some charter whilst uh, he hasn't been using her. Big alloy rig. The deck even today is in fantastic condition and she's got power at the front and big fully batten main, very powerful yacht, blue livery. She was famous as Buzzy Bee before she became Dark Star and in the year 2000 she had an epic and enormous refit at Camper Nicholson which cost several million pounds. Here she is at Anchor and the thing that is very evident is that even today she looks remarkably current and up-to-date and certainly will turn heads in any anchorage. You can see she's just about to go along and do that right here. And here are the crew welcoming you on board. At the moment, Dark Star is not in commission. Her rig is out and she is in Port Napoleon in the south of France in a large covered shed. And this is how it looks. The shed is completely vast. You wouldn't think this was a 90 foot yacht. Of course, she doesn't look quite as enormous as you might imagine because she's a center boarder. So that means that her draft is quite modest at 2.7. Since she's come out of the water, she's had new paint. So the top side's looking fantastic and the bottom has been prepared. Very powerful protected rudder. She is built of aluminium, as with most of the Trahard boats, if not all, I think. Very fair beneath the waterline. You can see the anodes are all in. At Port Napoleon, they all live on these cradles, which can easily move around. She has been here for around two years. So down here, that's an inspection hatch you can see there for the centerboard. And she has a retractable bow thruster, which can easily be seen there. So this all looks really, really good. And the paintwork has been done to a really fantastic standard, looking very nice indeed. just wanted to show you the other side closest to the shed so you can see that was painted too and then here is the Park Avenue boom it's carbon it's quite new it's very very grubby it's been sitting around for quite some time but with a wipe, it will look absolutely fantastic. The rig is properly stored outside. And Darkstar also has a container, which most of her sailing gear, sails and so forth are in. So that's that, looking as if it needs to be cleaned up and put back together. So now we're on deck. Here we are, right at the front. Very good anchoring arrangement.
The deck is looking fantastic. We haven't touched this in at all. It's dusty, but it's in really nice shape. Holds carbon. In here is anchor windlass, just having some work done to it. And in the locker behind, which I have to say I struggled with a bit, here we go. There's a very, very big Ford Lazarette that's actually all clean and tidy and nice. It's a really dry environment, so nothing gets damp here. Very little humidity in the atmosphere. Lovely flush hatches. And what I love about this yacht is that she doesn't have a big superstructure. It's just all deck. Uh, we're missing something in the middle there. I think we probably need a mast later on. Chocks for the dinghy. I'm afraid there have been some few birds around. Nice wide side decks and look at this amazing cockpit. You can comfortably seat 12 in it and I've just lifted the cover off it and it's in fantastic condition. There we go, all refrigerated, ready for cold beer. And next door to this cockpit, you see there is a sailing cockpit. All the controls are here and the back of the yacht hasn't been completely put back together again after the paint, which you saw in the sailing shot. She's got a fantastic platform which swings out. Here we are, you can have a look and see the helm. Here we're having a look at two of the storage bins either side of the helm. You see the teak is on alloy subdeck. Some of the paint spitting, which is a housekeeping job, not structural. Steps down onto the transom. None of which is looking very clean. She needs a valet. She really is sleeping beauty, this boat. Look at that view. And now we're in the main saloon. This is a starboard side. The headlinings and side linings in some areas need a birthday. Fabulous interior joinery. All of the guest and owner's accommodation is Ford. We've got a nice guest double cabin here. You can see that headlining has just puckered a bit and that just needs a job. Lots of storage space. The yacht comes with all the sailing gear that you can think of and towels and kitchen equipment and so forth. On the other side, we've got the brother of the cabin you've just been in, another double. Very spacious. Light and airy. And both of these have their own heads compartments with shower, towel rail, and all in really nice condition. So that's the first two. 
and now we're walking down. You can see that the headlining's down because the rig's out and everything's prepared so that it can be slotted back in as needed. We've got two further cabins, which are upper and lower berth cabins. This cabin has all of the cockpit upholstery in it. And again, another good heads compartment. So they've all got their own heads compartments. And then when we go over to the other side, we've got a mirror image and another heads. So that's four guest cabins, four heads compartments. And then we move forward into the owner's stateroom, which is lovely. Big double berth, port, loads of storage, nice seating area. You can get a TV here, which you can just get rid of when you don't want it anymore. And big heads compartment for the owner, as it should be, with separated shower stall. So this is really good accommodation for families or for some charter, if you'd like her to earn her keep. Great layout. And here we are back into the main cabin. Very large seating area to port. Those lovely ports. Must be fantastic when the boat's in the water. And this curved, gracious stairway as well. It's all in nice shape. And you've got a desk here. Ice maker, or fridge I should say. Nav station. And then we come to the business end of the yacht. Commercial galley. Everything has been beautifully cleaned and put away. It's just as if somebody walked off the boat. So this is a really practical, easy keep galley arrangement. Here's the cookers. And so in this yacht, the galley, crew accommodation and engine room are all at the back of the yacht together. Of course, there's separate access on deck from the aft of the yacht. Control station, which is more commonly used by the crew. Access out onto the aft deck. And a small crew mess, which is a must have really. Now we're going into the crew accommodation, upper and lower berth cabin, heads compartment with shower. And then, finally, there was light. Here is the engine room. All of this was new when she went into campers. Got a toolkit, which isn't very interesting. She's got a lugger, which is 330 horsepower, unbreakable. Fantastic engine down there. There's her power pack. She has been operating when she was in commission to MCA Category 2. And the last time that she was sailing, she was in code. Out of the engine room, back through the crew accommodation, into the crew mess. And then we're just going to walk down this long galley. And here is Dark Star. 
fantastic looking yacht.